known as Mohi Talk. Uh, we are doing, during uh, the forced confinement, a special St. Patrick's special episode. Because uh, all the bars are closed all around the world, so uh, people are stuck at home. So we hesitated about making a St. Patrick's Day special, but now we basically have to do one. Because uh, uh, you'll be listening. Uh, and it will help keep you company, I believe. So there's Giles, uh, who relocated to Malaysia recently. And mm-hmm. there's myself, and there's uh, another dude that we chose uh, because he, he was Irish. We thought that it was really a good idea to get an Irish person for St. Patrick's. We thought it made sense. Yeah, thank you for joining us. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm Chris. I'm Mark. Um, I'm Irish. Great. In circles, you know. How do you say? Perfect. Uh, Not much else to do, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Saint Patrick's Day. I, I forgot what we meant to talk about. Actually, I, we did have a little <laughs> chat about what we should be talking about, and I, I, I forgot. I misplaced it. So uh, I'm gonna th- I'm gonna let you start the show, Giles. I'll. I'll oh. Yeah. Um. Well, did you end up actually having any drinks or anything, Mark? Um. Well, not really. Well, I mean, I kind of did, but like you know, I'm in, I'm actually in Germany right now. I'm not in Ireland. Yeah. But um, like you know, everything's closed. Like the pubs and shit. Like there was meant to yeah. be like a big parade and all that. But that's like you can't really leave the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, like, it's the same here in Malaysia. It's like full but I mean, on. Obvi- yeah, but obviously, you know, you can't not have a drink. So yeah, it is anyway. Fuck it. Hmm. So there's a there's a parade, but people cannot leave their house. Or oh, the parade has been cancelled. Uh, no, the parade has been cancelled. Oh yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. So no Saint Patrick's for anyone, huh? Yeah. No. I mean, I guess people can do it at home. I was uh, thinking of buying some uh, Corona beer. Uh, <laughs> I thought it would work really well, but um, yeah, I'm on a I'm on a diet, like a quite strict diet. So um, I decided against having any alcohol at all because this shit packs the calories uh, pretty fast. I still may have a few shots of vodka, something like low calorie would be fine, but beer is, uh, I have beer and wine at home, but I'm not, I'm not touching it. I really need to lose weight. Um, so, uh, that, that way is like perfectly depressing. I'll be streaming some video games tonight, probably. And, um, maybe through the whole weekend. It's, um, it's a weird, it's weird situation, especially since Alcohol is supposed to be able to destroy the virus, so why don't why can't we go to bars? Doesn't make a lot of sense to me. The social isolation thing, like just the social spreading of it, bars are like perfect yeah. for spreading it. Yeah, it's yeah. definitely going to end up being a virus conversation rather than a <laughs> conversation. I mean, we can talk about something else if you have another subject to. Uh, no, the virus is fine. Okay. Like pretty, okay. Yeah. Pretty pressing. Yeah. 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 I'm not. Uh, I'm not sure if this whole quarantine thing is um, the 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 best way to deal with it. It seems a little extreme oh, yeah. to me, because when you come, because like I understand it's a dangerous virus sure I understand that it's lethal and it kills a lot of people uh, depending on you know where it is and uh, the people's um, immune response but um, it's still way below like extremely tiny compared to diabetes and everyone knows about diabetes. Everyone knows people die from it every day. A lot of people die from it every day, but we all keep stuff in our faces. Uh, but now there's this virus thing. So uh, it's weird when people react like this. It's exactly the same as when the terrorist attacks happen 
when terrorists uh, like blow up a building or something like this um, there's like always a hundred maybe a thousand deaths uh, which is crazy tiny compared to like road accidents or you know traffic collisions and yet mm. people still use their cars every day and don't see the problem but when it's terrorism people freak out if even if statistically it's negligible and i don't i don't understand that mentality i i, I really don't understand i think people are um, really misguided and um, safety is um is is kind of a mess everywhere like um I don't I don't get it I don't get it I'm pissed off about being locked in uh, I think it's stupid and um, yeah in in, um, in France they've postponed rent payments haven't they yeah I know yeah yeah, yeah. that's pretty nice that's like that means you can actually waste all your time playing video games and not feel like you're losing money while you do it yeah yeah Hell yeah. yeah 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 so that's, that's yeah Go ahead. I think the whole like terrorism thing has made people really like, you know, everyone has this whole mindset of like, you know, you can't let the terrorists win and shit like that. So you just have to carry on like usual. Yeah. And like, mm. you know, you'll see, you'll see like photos of like people in like, like packed pubs and they'll be like, oh yeah, you know, we're still going strong. Fuck the virus. Yeah. But, like, bro, the virus ain't, it's like, it's not a terrorist, you know, it doesn't give a fuck if you're, you know, what you think about it, you know? Yeah. Because like, either you spread it or you don't, you know? Yeah, yeah, no, no, that that was, <laughs> of course, uh, no, no, I was, I was just saying that compared to a lot of other stuff, uh, it is a very tiny menace, yeah, yeah. and yeah, when you compare it to diabetes or heart disease or cancer, it's, yeah, I think it's negligible in comparison. Even the flu kills much more people. The good old seasonal flu that happens every winter. So uh, I I really don't get this overreaction. Maybe people should, uh, maybe, you know, uh, if they're afraid of this tiny virus, maybe they should be even more afraid of, yeah, diabetes, heart disease, and, uh, you know, excess of sedentarity and uh, excess of you know overeating basically uh which are much more dangerous and kill much more people yeah i i think this this whole reaction this whole you know panic the confinement all this doesn't make sense to me like yeah, actually, yeah. of course i still uh am in favor of you know things like washing your hands sneezing in your elbow that's good yeah, I am all for this, and uh, I remember um, seeing um, a, a video saying that because of all these, um, you know, people washing their hands and and sneezing in their elbow and being in general uh, really conscious of their hygiene, uh, the case of the the influenza had uh, been you know reduced like threefold, you know. People are basic. People are finally learning hyg hygiene, basic hygiene stuff, and so there's like three times less people who were infected by the flu. So that's something. That's something pretty good that we can uh, maybe take as a lesson. Um, yeah, I think like the main thing is right that like hospitals are just getting overworked. Like initially, like you know, the, the whole healthcare system is collapsing. Yes, that's. Um, I think that's more. I think that was worse than like the actual virus, you know. Yes, like, absolutely. You get yeah. like in a car accident or something, they can't do anything for you because like, yeah, you know, the beds are full and shit like that. It's like, ah, yeah, yeah, that's a fair point. That's an absolutely fair point. Um, no, that 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 does make sense. I mean, with this whole flatten the curve uh, meme that everyone's been saying, <laughs> I I I still don't know how accurate it is. This whole flatten the curve thing, I I heard a lot of people like basically parroting it uh, without you know questioning it at all, which uh, I don't I don't really like when people do this. It makes me wary of the thing, but maybe it's legit. Uh, so yeah just in case uh, it's um, or may or maybe people should just stay at home if they're sick instead of going to the hospital I don't know 
I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, um, yeah. I'm not, I'm not an expert. It seemed like the whole... Yeah. Yeah. I'm not an expert. I think the whole so staying at home thing is just making people go out, though. I don't know. It just feels like there's much more people out than usually. Yeah. I don't, like, I don't know. France is probably different. Like, you're not allowed to leave, right? right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, could you go outside right now? Uh, if I had a good reason, uh, yes, but you know, there's only a few exceptions, uh, for you be allowed to, to go outside. Uh, it technically it's illegal at the moment, but like, for example, if I broke a tooth, I could go to the dentist. You know, there's, yeah, there, there's exception. Oh, if yeah. you have, if yeah. you can, if you can prove that you have a good reason, then, uh, you can do it. But, uh, Otherwise, it's it's illegal. Yeah, you can uh, be yeah. fined for it. Yeah, yeah. Here, here in Germany, like everyone can still leave the house and like, I don't know, like you know, cafes and like, I think that like they've closed restaurants, but like cafes and shit like that are packed. Yeah, I think people are like, they, they think they they think that there's gonna be like a general quarantine, so uh, yeah. everyone's just going out while they still can. Yeah, yeah, I I, I did the same. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's um that's a very healthy response I, I i think to the panic thing um you know panic is never a good thing uh yeah. so yeah uh but precautions i don't know i there's so much precautions there's so much concern about safety nowadays to the point where safety has become like a hostile concept and now when when i hear the word safety i'm like oh shit uh, it's um, yeah. It, it's it, it's become we we live in, we live in a society. We live in a society that is obsessed by by safety, and I hate this. Yeah. I say hate this so much because it's like it's the enemy of freedom more and more every day, and uh, yeah, it's um, it's oppressive. I think. I mean. I uh, that's yeah, yeah, I not mean, yeah you can see that's not exactly the right word but I think you see what I mean and yeah, no, I see what you mean yeah because like I was reading an article the other day about what the uh, what kind of measures that in the future um, might be taken against a pandemic like this mm. and basically it's just a surveillance state like yeah you know they'll track your phone and they'll track your health and they'll track this and track that and I think it's I mean yeah it's you need to, I mean, you need to do what you can to stop pandemics and all that kind of stuff. But at the same time, like the amount of power, um, the authorities get over you uh, yeah. through that. I think it's crazy. Yeah. 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 It's, um, it was already concerning it's, and now it's like downright alarming. Yeah. Oh. Is the panic buying, um, happening in France and Germany? What? Yeah, yeah for sure. What, what did you say? I, I, I didn't catch that. Uh, panic buying so oh piling people um yeah a little here but not too much uh because you know the the, the government um uh, issued a few statements saying that uh, people were still allowed to go to supermarkets to, to buy food and you know basic products that they need for uh, every day and uh, supermarkets will still be stocked with you know everything needed uh, you know, um, meat, vegetables, cereals, and, you know, toilet paper, all of that. And um, we have been strongly advised against uh, panic buying for several reasons. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. And also, we, uh, we can only go to the supermarket if we respect the uh, safety distance between, you know, at least one meter between each person. So... Um, it's um you it's it cannot be packed like it's uh uh they they first started a thing when um you could uh, be uh, at at most 100 persons in one um be, uh, in one building uh, then they they reduced it um so um so it depends but um yeah but you, you can still um order anything you want so um whether it's like food from a 
uh, any restaurant. Like Uber? Are you talking about like Uber Eats? And yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uber Eats still works. Uh, and uh, restaurants are allowed to keep functioning for takeout and deliveries. So people cannot go inside the restaurants, um, but takeout and delivery still works. Uh, if you want a pee, if you want a pizza, you can order one, and uh, and also you can order just basically your uh, groceries to be delivered from any supermarket, and the postal service still works as well. That's weird, huh? Yeah. Yeah. yeah like in Malaysia, though. Like, yeah. You know. Yeah. Right, kind of so a different response there. Yeah. Wait, uh, ask the question again, sorry. Uh, what's, what's it like in Malaysia, the whole situation? There's, there's one benefit um, to that, like, toilet paper shortage issue that was happening back in Australia. Um, they don't use toilet paper uh, for the majority here. They have little hoses that mm. have hooked up next to the toilets. You just sort of spray like mad. Um, but otherwise, yeah, similar lockdown situation to, to France by the sounds of it. Yeah, uh, takeaway stuff is still operating, but everything uh. else is sort of closed. Yeah. Yeah, it's weird. Uh, no, one's, no one's stopping me and checking my, like, reason for being out. Mm -hmm. But there's, like, this... It's still a ghost town at the moment. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's it's crazy. It's crazy. It's uh, imagine imagine if if they did that if they did that for like AIDS back in the day, like you you would have to uh, to show uh, <laughs> you would you, to have sex with someone you you would have to show a paper justifying that you you've dated for at least a month and you really know the person and uh, they've uh, taken a um, a test, you know, blood test. <laughs> Maybe that, because that, uh, yeah, that would make just as more sense. Just as much. Uh, <laughs> like if, if two men were walking down the street, they're just like, are you, are you guys just friends? <laughs> <laughs> that kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll have to, um, We'll have to get this robot suits like in a Half Life. Roll. Well, well, yeah. Um, I'm getting the vague sort of uh, like um, motivation to ask stuff about like living in Ireland or like growing up in Ireland. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to formulate a question to do with that. <laughs> What what That's cool, eh? taking you to Germany? Well, actually, well, I, I actually don't live in Ireland. My 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 family lives in Germany, um, huh. but I live in the Netherlands. But I'm huh. from Ireland, so. Very nice. So, so like, did, did you do you, you know, grow up in Europe, Ireland like or? Europe. Um, yeah, kind of a bit of both, like Ireland and Germany. Okay, back and forth. Like. In a, yeah, yeah, so like a, you know, European Union poster child kind of, kind of situation, you know? <laughs> yeah, I see. <laughs> like. Yeah, there's like notes, there's no, definitely notes of like Irish accent, but I can tell that there are like other European accents yeah. going on. Yeah, yeah, like I try, I try and keep it down, right? Because people, like a lot of the time, they can't understand me if I, <laughs> you know, if I go all out on it, you know? <laughs> Definitely, you should ham it up if you can. <laughs> that reminds me of a, a, a line uh, from a um, 1999 video game Shadow Man, uh, where um, <laughs> stupid, but um, yeah, there's a there's a Irish character, um, and uh, he was he at some point he he talked about the the Irish cousin of Peter uh, Bruegel. The painter, you know, <laughs> oh, Bruegel, yeah, yeah. Called, called Seamus, Seamus Bruegel, yeah, who did also some paintings. It's um, it's very underrated, Shadow Man. Um, I think the comic book is still. 
It was uh, it was released in 1999 on PlayStation, Nintendo 64, Dreamcast, and PC. Um, and um, yeah, I played it on the Nintendo 64, and later I played it on PC. Uh, it's yeah, you know, it's. Um, I realized when I replayed it recently that all this thing that blew me uh, away when I was a kid. Um, great music, great graphic, especially for 1999. The story is awesome. The even the voice acting, the the um, sound effects, the art direction. This game is beautiful. Like, and it's still beautiful to me. Like, I, I still recognize it, all those qualities. But when I was a kid, that was enough for me to enjoy the game. And re I, I replayed it recently, and I realized this game is not very fun. It's just 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 walking around is tedious. It's one of these where the fuck do I go kind of games, and there's no map. So uh, a lot of the environments look. Um, I mean, they don't really look similar, but uh, there's kind of a lot of uh, maze-like, you know, uh, levels, and. Uh, yeah, the, the the combat is not very fun. The platforming is not very fun. Sure, the game is beautiful with great music. It's like, it's exactly the same. Oh, just, I gotta go in the other room. There's like a big rat fight. I may have to intervene. <laughs> yes, oh, yeah. so, how long is you? How long have you um, followed, like, Chat Mahito's page? Uh, well, I don't know, like, a couple of years maybe, I don't know, a year or two? Yeah. Um, no. I actually didn't know, like, that you guys did a podcast or anything. I just saw, yeah. like, the... I think um, so when he shares certain like, links to his page, the reach will be cut if it's, like, a link to a video or a like audio file or whatever. Yeah. It's it's weird. I don't get how it works, but like he's the, the yeah. thousands of, of likes are hard to like reach um, or like target. Yeah. Yeah, I don't really get how Facebook works like that at all. Like it just seems quite random. Like also what pops up in your feed and what doesn't, you know? Yeah. Um, and I think it gets weirder or like it changes so frequently that it's like, y you can't yeah. really figure it out. Yeah, yeah, it's, um, I don't really get it. Generally, uh, he'll, uh, Chattel gets like some guests, um, that are also meme page admins and stuff like that. Um, mm. uh, I think... We did one really fun one with uh, Do Androids Dream of Electric Meme? Yeah. And yeah, that's a pretty good thing, too. I think we lost the audio for it, so it's sad about that. Yeah, so I could not get there in yeah. time, and I'm not sure what happened, but there was not anyone who appeared to be wounded, so. Um... It's fine. Uh, do they hide it from you? Like, Yeah, they always do that. The moment I go inside the room, they all act like, oh, nothing was happening. We didn't do anything wrong. What? Yeah, there's very, they're like very. Fighting as a kid. What? It's like fighting as a kid and then hiding. Oh yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, they look at you like yeah, the 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 fur all puffed up and uh, uh, <laughs> you know, it's like no, 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 nothing was happening. I was just eating some some food. Nothing's going on. <laughs> You see, they all have the 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 eyes like wide open, like if something uh, is <laughs> really stressed. But uh, everything's fine. Everything's fine. Oh yeah, I, I was just talking about. Do you think we've lost the uh, do Android stream of electric memes recording? Um, I don't think so. I'm so fucking lost with all these files. Um, yeah. who was supposed because I know that surface reality memes uh, I have it all everything works so this okay. I'm sure uh, it's good uh, I still haven't received every file from the um, discord special uh, so this one oh, might yeah, this one might be lost 
Um, this one might be last. Uh, there was one. Shit. Yeah, do Android dream of electric memes? Uh, I, I wanted to check that. Um, and. Um, because was that the one we recorded in October or in no it was in November there were three of them at once yeah 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 there were there were three of them at once and I think I not not all three of them have sent uh, their files but I think there was one of them who could not record so uh, yeah I, I will have to check this um and uh, and maybe recontact them if there's an issue um because oh, yeah. yeah i i did edit uh most of the surface release memes episode so i mean i did two-thirds of the work so this one is safe we got it um and for the do android stream of electric memes um, I think I recorded like a backup of the whole thing using OBS. I, I would have to look for it, um, but yeah, it would be next in line. I don't even remember if if it was you or me who was supposed to edit. Cause you, yeah, I don't mind doing it. My my laptop just sucks. Oh, okay. <laughs> um. Well, uh, we'll yeah, we'll we'll, we'll talk about this um, when I. Uh, Remind me to check the files, because if uh, I will, I'm gonna check if I have the files, and if if I don't, I'm gonna contact them again. Easy. So, uh, what were we talking about before we got interrupted by the stupid fucking rats? Um, I, I I can't remember, but I'm sure. Oh yeah, we are. we're talking about Shadow Man. It's not <laughs> not a very interesting tangent but yeah basically um the, the, the game is beautiful but it's not super fun to play and i absolutely as a kid i absolutely did not realize that it was not fun i would play any fucking thing for hours uh if the graphics were good i didn't give a shit about anything else yeah one thing i realized when I was younger, I only had maybe two or three games at once, so I would play the, the shit out of them, whether they were yeah. shit or not. Yeah, same. Uh, and yeah. Um, and I, I honestly think that made me enjoy games a bit more, because um, mm -hmm. I wasn't... You, you ever have that thing where you've got, like, um, I don't know, like Foxtel? I'm not sure what it's called overseas. Like where you just have like cable or whatever, you have like hundreds of TV channels. Oh yeah. And you don't really feel like settling on any of them because you, this it could be something else better on, and so you just end up surfing. Yeah. Uh, my my Steam account is like that now. I think I have like <laughs> seven hundred games at this point, and I like sometimes I just have to pick a game and just say just just stick with it. Yeah. 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 Um, what I've uh, started doing it, what I've started doing recently, is I play the games in alphabetical order. I couldn't figure out a better way to, you know, decide which game I play first. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna play all the game that starts with an A for now, and um, I'll do the Bs later, etc. What, what letter are you up to now? Uh, I'm still at A. I uh, <laughs> yeah, because I, st I started this recently, and I um, uh, so I don't do exclusively this because there was also some games that I remember I really wanted to play, like the Dark Souls or stuff like this. Because, uh, uh, but yeah, there's um, there's a lot of games that I didn't really know about, and I got them on sale just because they looked kind of cool and they were like two bucks so whatever but um, yeah so at the moment I'm playing Air Memories of Old uh, Aviary Attorney and um, I'm oh, going yeah 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 the, and the third one where you're a lawyer yeah 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 is that any good? Uh, I just started it but it's pretty good yeah it's funny um yeah 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 though i would say that it's uh 
there's a lot of references to French culture and uh, there are some jokes that are mostly funny in French so you would have to, to have a pretty good knowledge of uh, France to really enjoy the game 100% so for me that's not a problem but I, I can see why some people would miss a lot of the bilingual jokes uh, that are in the game it's a very very French game Mm. So, um, what else do I have in the A that I'm going to play next? Not Aliens Colonial Marines. I do have it, but I don't want to play it now, and maybe not later as well. <laughs> I got it because it was so fucking cheap. <laughs> it, it, there's a quality to uh, shitty games, though, sometimes. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yes. Especially since the the issue was fixed. The issue with the AI uh, was from a single missing comma in the code, or a or a letter that was missing. Like the whole code was good. There was just one letter missing at one point, and um, that broke the whole thing. Um, yeah. So I don't know if you remember, but I played Abzu uh, on Twitch. Uh, that was an, also one of the A, um, with the, the game where you're like uh, diving uh, with the fish and all that. It's a little that bit like, cool. it's a little bit like Tomb Raider, but underwater and with less, when with no combat, it's just puzzle. It reminded me of Tomb Raider three a lot. Uh, yeah, imagine Tomb Raider three, but with no guns and under the sea. That's uh, Abzu, basically. Great music, by yeah, the way. Good. Yeah, yeah, and even the music yeah. sounded a lot like Tomb Raider. But yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. Do you play games, Mark? What? Do you play many games, Mark? Um, no, not really, because my laptop is really shitty. Like, it can't really handle anything. I'm, I'm so sure we're not coming across as just like complete nerds right now to some sort of like. <laughs> <sport>. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. No worries. No, I used to play like um, you know Europa, Universalis, that kind of that kind of stuff. Mm. Oh yeah, so that's really mm. nerdy, actually. <laughs> it's, yeah, uh, yeah. And, like at this point, like it's, it's like the game has passed me by so far. Like it's been like three or four years since I played it. I don't think I'd understand any of it anymore. Ah, uh, <laughs> yeah, I get that. The same thing happened to me. It's, yeah. it's such a weird, complex, you know. Yeah. 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 I understand. Like it was mess about and suddenly, you know, you're bankrupt and half of Europe is attacking you. <laughs> like. Reminds me of Total War. Um, Warhammer? Like any Total War series. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I never really got the hang of those and, never and I never really enjoyed anything uh, strategy-based, whether it's RTS or uh, other kind of strategy stuff uh, I tried them all the only one that I liked uh, was not really uh, I, I don't even know what genre it is but it was Sid Meier's Sim Golf uh, it was kind of like Sim City but really simplified and uh, it was more about the aesthetics rather than the money or, or stuff like this but you know you could uh, there was like a lot of settings where you could uh, put the difficulty of the the ratings by the by the people but basically it was it was like sim city except in, instead of a city it was a golf course so you had to make the perfect golf course and then there, there were golfers who who were going to come and play your um, your course and then rate it uh, based on um, how good they thought it uh, was and uh, I played this game so much and uh, it was completely slept on uh, because it's yeah it's not super fun but it's like relaxing and aesthetics um, you can just put flowers everywhere, make it look nice and shit, and uh, just look at the little people playing golf. It's um, it's quite you know zen, I would say. And for a really long time, it has been uh, abandoned. Where, like nobody gives a shit at it anymore. You can just download it from anywhere in in the internet. Uh, and uh, yeah, yeah, I would recommend. Uh, 
to anyone who likes chill ass aesthetic experiences and don't mind yeah, yeah and um Sid Meier's Sim Golf Sid Meier's Sim Golf yeah 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 it's from okay. like 30 years ago so the graphics are not great uh it's uh like i think it's a really smaller resolution it kind of looks like the first fallout or diablo you know it's like isometric uh well, i actually like that style um like roller coaster tycoon type yeah exactly yeah yeah, yeah. that yeah uh but yeah so it's really old so there's not a lot of pixels um but uh, it's really cool and and since it's really old and even yeah even back in the day like um 25 years ago it was still not uh very hard on your uh hardware not very resource intensive so any fucking uh probably one of these uh graphic calculators of nowadays could run it it's uh, very you know light on the on the resources <laughs> it's very chill. Um, you don't, you don't have to have gaming PC. I think a gaming PC from the early nineties could run it, no problem. So, even if you have a shitty laptop, it will definitely work. Uh, I might try it out. There's not very many games on my laptop in Rome. Yeah, yeah. Well, there's always some stuff. Um, I had the same issue a few years ago. I had really a shitty laptop that I uh, bought just for work. And um, so I only played really old stuff. But it was, uh, yeah, it was the occasion to rediscover some old games that were really not resource intensive. Uh, what did I play? I really played a lot of Duke Nukem 3D. Uh, the uh -huh, game yeah, and that yeah. game was much better than in my memory. Like uh, it really yeah, holds yeah. up to 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 uh, even to today's standards. It's, it's uh, yeah. I went on a I went on a tour of those data three D realms so uh, games, mm -hmm. um, and I, I actually I miss a whole lot of the the things that those games did. Uh, did you ever play like, yeah. Shadow Warrior? And. Um, Duke Nukem Shadow Warrior and Blood. Yeah. Yeah, I uh, um, played all the way through Shadow Warrior not even a couple months ago, uh -huh. and all the way through Duke Nukem 3D and like the expansions. I, r I really like just the secrets. Like, yeah. you, you'll go up and, um, and like, I just press activate. Like, you just have like an action button. You just yes. press it on a bunch of shit, and then suddenly the wall opens. Just, yeah. I, I love doing that. Yeah, same. Yeah, it's really, it's really great. Uh, I think, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What did I play? Also, Wolfenstein 3D. I played that again. It was yeah, really yeah, cool. Yeah. Um, and um, yeah, the, the laptop was not that bad, so I could, uh, I could still play stuff like Half Life. Um, but yeah, uh, not n stuff from the '90s. I played a lot of stuff from the '90s. Um, I also had an emul uh, Mega Drive emulator, so I, I played Sonic and stuff like this. And uh, uh, there was this really good Mega Drive game, really underrated. Uh, that's kind of, of a mix between Donkey Kong Country and Mega Man. Uh, it's uh, it's a it's a robot. It's a kind of robot. You're a robot, and you do robot things. And it's. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, it's re it's really advanced. There's a lot of stuff you can do. There's a lot of weird power ups um, that make you your robot can like change into a drill to bore a hole or stuff like this. Or uh, uh, oh, it's such a great game. And uh, and of course, you find the name of that. Uh, let me know. What? If you uh, remember the name of it, let me know. Oh yeah. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, I mean it's. Um, I say Donkey Kong Country because it's. Uh, it has the same style of you know, three D ish, sixteen bit th thing, uh, and the platforming is also a little similar. There's uh yeah. but it's. I wouldn't say it's exactly like Donkey Kong Country, but um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll definitely. Um, uh, I'm looking right now. I will be able to. Uh, tell you the the name in a few minutes okay you can continue uh 
the conversation, Mike, maybe, what do, do you, um, did you play a lot of um, retro games or, um, or mm -hmm. yeah, what's your favorite genre of gaming? It's also mainly like, uh, you know, FIFA and shit like that. Yeah. Um, but I don't know, like, I'm not even sure it comes as retro at this point, but I played like the shit out of uh, GTA San Andreas. Ah, um, it's, uh, yeah, yeah, it's on the verge between, yeah, it's almost retro. It will be soon. Yeah. It's like, it's like, it wasn't even on the Xbox, like, I had the Xbox 360 as a kid and it wasn't, mm. like, it was too old for that. Like, it was the original yeah. Xbox, or, you know. Like the first gen. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It probably is like twenty years old now. Yeah, I think I had it on PS2. Or I'm not sure. Uh, San Andreas is a, it's an absolute classic though. Uh, I think because the San Andreas was so good, a lot of people ignored Vice City, uh, which was maybe even better. Oh. Vice, Vice, City. Vice City was great and uh, it, proves, it was probably the inspiration for a lot of stuff like for example Hotline Miami um, that was definitely not a ripoff but you, you could feel the inspiration yeah, yeah. And, uh, but San Andreas absolute classic CJ following the yeah. train and all that <laughs> yeah Oof, classic yeah Um, have have either of you seen any funny memes to do with the virus? Because oh yeah, every single post that I see is about it. But like, have you seen anything that's been particularly funny to do with it? Um, hmm. um, let me check my meme folder. I think a lot of the memes have just been like kind of you know the kind of shit like your parents would send on to you or you know <laughs> yeah like yeah it's, I don't know it's very it's weirdly like transcendent or something you know yeah the boomer like stuff. I don't know memes about it but not, not really very good yeah 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 the um, the boomer stuff no, I think I think Facebook a lot of the bombs. good memes are yeah, yeah, absolutely. A, a lot of good memes I are what? I think a lot of the good memes I've seen are like, I think they're mainly like kind of niche, you know, in like in like groups or whatever. Like, I yeah. don't know if you guys know Peep Show, like the, yeah. the yeah, sitcom, yeah. Like, the, like those groups have been fire. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, usually the, I, I've seen so many great ones in Simpsons groups, stuff like this. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. The yeah, Sim that kind of stuff. The Simpsons one are fire. I've seen uh, what what else? Um, um, Seinfeld, same stuff. Um, and you were talking about Peep Show. So uh, there's a bunch of British groups, especially um, yeah. I think about the IT Crowd, um, yeah. or uh, the Mighty Bush, or new classic, really funny stuff yeah. like this. You can see that's a lot of groups. Uh, uh, publishing stuff like this and um, yeah it's pretty great but the Simpsons are the most classic ones probably yeah I saw one Simpsons one which is you know the Homer sinking into the hedge and then like coming out with his yeah. outfit on um, there's, I saw one where he sinks in wearing a Bernie shirt and then comes back out with a Molotov and like a face yeah. mask. <laughs> yes. And then he goes back in and he comes back out with a Bernie shirt back on again and then just melts back in, comes out with a Molotov and a face mask again, just like doesn't know whether the world's ending or like what yeah. Bernie's yeah. actually going to do or not. It's like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm not asking anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think the, the really the best one are when there's references from Simpsons episode, but transposed in a different episode. Those one always me lose my shit. Um, but they're a little. They're not really obscure because anyone who's who's uh, watched the Simpsons, uh, like in a binge. Um, 
of show can understand them. But yeah, I, I really, I really like when they replace a character from a character from a different episode, and and that transforms the joke. It's really, it, I'm not sure it's really meta. Uh, I'm not sure it counts as meta, but it's definitely hilarious. I love that shit. I think Simpsons memes are really because, like, um, I think I'm not sure if this is the biggest Irish Facebook group, but it's definitely one of them. Mm. It's like the Ireland Simpsons fans uh, oh. group. Okay. Which has like, I don't know, there's like a hundred thousand people in there or something. Mm -hmm. um, just making Simpsons memes about Ireland, which is really weird because I, I oh. don't know if Ireland really has that sort of a connection to the Simpsons or. I don't know, but it's such a like cultural, culturally pervasive thing in Ireland now. Like, I'd say like 95% of people in Ireland will at least know the group or, you know. Yeah. 127 will, uh, people are in it. That's crazy, right? Like, there's only, what, like, six million people on the island of Ireland, so that's, like... Yeah, that's, shit ton that's, a, lot, that's a large a large percentage, yeah. But, I mean, Simpsons were really appreciated all around the world, uh, I believe. I mean, at least yeah. here, here in France, uh, people are watching The Simpsons all the time. There's Simpsons reruns on several channels. Um, and... Uh, Yeah, it's kind of... I've seen a lot of Simpsons um, apparel uh, it's being sold like in China and stuff like this. All or, yeah, I, th I think Simpsons were uh, quite transcending in terms of cultural barriers because it's not oh. really... I mean, there's some of it that is completely obscure um, American references that unless you really know American culture you will not understand like for example at some point I remember there's Apu uh, in his grocery store who sells fried pickles and I was like what the fuck is that I thought it was like some kind of wacky Simpsons thing but uh, later I learned that uh, fried pickles are really a thing in the US um, so yeah there's a lot of stuff like this that's uh, really uh Uh, obscure or uh, there's the the episode from Walking Day which uh, really works here because uh, it's a reference to St. Patrick's Day yeah. and uh, when the Walking Day when they uh, you know uh, they uh, go uh, and throw sticks at snakes uh, <laughs> and when I saw that I didn't even question it I thought it was a real American thing uh, Walking <laughs> Day I thought it was I, I didn't realize it was a joke I thought it was a, a, a thing that they did in America because it sounded really American to me and uh, I thought it was legit so uh, yeah there's a lot of uh, stuff that you really have to know American culture to understand like when they eat sloppy joes uh, in the school cafeteria like, what the fuck is this is it uh, you know But um, but there's it's most. Like burger, isn't it? Sloppy Joe's is like a. It's like a burger, but with like loose. Yeah, yeah, it's just yeah, really yeah. It's like a burger, but with mints, right? But like, or you know, like. Yeah, yeah, like it's mince, not, but it's, it's a patty. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yes, it's it must be so awkward to eat. You gotta, but you know, yeah. it's, it's yeah, it's really weird shit. But uh, but still, uh, what I want, I'm just gonna like finish my sentence. I know it was a little long, but most of the Simpsons stuff is not specific, not to uh, not to a specific time, not to a specific place. It's a lot of it is about interpersonal relationships between like a man and his wife, parents and their kids, you know, teachers. Uh, cops, stuff like that that would make most of uh, the Simpsons jokes still funny if you showed them to uh, someone from the Middle Ages or if uh, people watch this in the future uh, you know, there's a, most yeah. of the stuff is just stuff that is relatable for pretty much everyone regardless of age and you know place of uh, birth and where they were raised and all that I've heard that described as evergreen it's just like eternally yeah. huh never heard that before but it's a cool term 
Uh, it's quite timeless. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it's uh, it's universal. Yeah, most of the jokes are are funny regardless of um, yeah your age, your culture, all that. Also, I found the name of that great video game on Mega Drive. It's Vector Man. Vector Man. Yeah. Sweet. It's so fucking good. You can get Mega Drive emulators, so I think. Like, yep. I yeah. We'll yeah. Be yeah. Able to play that. Um. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I think that's why Simpsons work. I think there's some shows like this, like Seinfeld, for example, it's the same. Um, there's some stuff that is very American or very New York in it, and uh, that uh, is hard to understand, but it's only a very, very small percentage of the jokes, and most of it is about, you know, interpersonal rela relationships, uh, friends, dating, uh, work, stuff that everyone understands. What? What do you say? Uh, being down on your luck. There's like the overarching theme of just like not being able to get anywhere. Uh huh. In Seinfeld, anyway. I, I don't watch a lot of Seinfeld, but like. George is is just meant to be this character, this like figure who just never gets ahead. Uh, he does get ahead a few times though. Okay. Right. But That's what I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, the um, one of the. I mean, th these people are relatable. It's like the characters in It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. That's why I love these yeah. shows so much, is that there's a really um, an epidemic of uh, what uh, some critics call passing uh, sitcoms um, uh, is, and passing characters in, in TV shows and movies. Uh, it's people who pass as human but do and say things that no one would in real life and have these weird interactions there's so many stuff like this like uh in for example the big bang theory no one is like that yeah. uh, i remember the people who created the shows said that uh when they were uh, working on the set they visited a lot of you know people who are alike uh, the actual characters, um, you know, uh, students in science and stuff like this, they visited the, their rooms and wanted to, um, uh, you know, replicate th uh, that kind of um, interior decoration, between quotes. But then they uh, threw all their work into the trash because it was judged too depressing. And they. Yeah, I can see that. And they reworked from scratch. Uh, they created basically some fake nerd stuff. Um, I mean, I, I don't mean that there's a reference because there's a lot of pop culture reference in uh, uh, the Big Bang Theory that are kind of relevant. But you know, the the environment they live in, the way that their um, um, apartment is set, the relationship between them, it's. It was it was at first meant to be um, a caricature, but close to reality. But then they they threw all that in the trash and they just just decided to make wacky characters uh, who are nothing like real life nerds. And a lot of uh, TV shows do this when they transform the the real life stuff to make it. I don't know, not funnier, for sure, but passing, you know? There's people who pass well, as as people, but you don't know people who would act or think like this in real life. And that's the difference when you see people like in Seinfeld or It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, the characters are extremely relatable. Uh, they're very, very human, very, very not normal, but kinda, yeah. uh, they're believable. They're, you, you, these could be actual human beings, and um, 
And in The Simpsons, and in The Simpsons is the same. That's what I, I, I meant to say. In The Simpsons is the same. The the, the characters are, are believable, uh, and their interactions are realistic, and that's what makes these shows so important. Um, because you know we can really identify with the characters, which is rare. Mm. Have you have you heard the term flanderization? Yes. Of course. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, I think that's what you're referring to when when a show takes away like the emotional depth. Yeah. Uh, in favor of like cartoonishly sort of um, jumping the shaft or whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. So like, yeah, Flanders used to be like married, and that like he he was a more real person. Yes. And then. His his wife dies, I think, fairly early on, like, I don't know, season three or four, I don't know. Uh, I um, think it was quite later. But oh, okay. anyway, anyway, I'm um, not sure. Um, and, like, he was, there were episodes where he was sad about that. And, like, once again, like, his character just had more depth at that point. And uh, um, actually he just became a catchphrase of just, like, oakley doakley. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 that's sad. Uh, yeah, and even even Homer himself became uh, like a caricature, a gross, oh. simplified version of what he he were in the beginning. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Eleven, she does. Yeah, yeah. That's why. That's why. What? Yeah, I think like she, so. She does, she dies in like season eleven. Oh, Which I think is also kind of yeah. when, like, yeah, like I think that's also kind of around the point where it gets like where it kind of falls off. Yeah, right. Thirty seasons right now, but like it's only really the first ten, fifteen that are, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's sure why. Thing. Yeah, exactly. That's why when you see all these memes in the Simpsons group, all these references and stuff, ninety-five percent of it is from seasons one to eight. You know. I mean, not season one, because uh, that was like kind of a draft version. Yeah. But see, be between season two and season eight is where most of the memorable stuff, most of the yeah. good episodes are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the, the that's the, the part of The Simpsons that people really like. Um, I mean, people still watch The Simpsons right now, but I don't see the... I rarely ever, ever see the newer episodes get referenced yeah. get quoted uh stuff like this you know people watch it like they would be uh watching I'm paint sure dry you know on that episode yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah like a bear is on the in the episode or like elon musk is in an episode or something yeah why not i mean pff. i never understood that whole yeah. guest thing that they did it's weird well, that was quite well done like, I don't know, I think so. some of the guest appearances are cool, but like some of them are just so forced. Like, yeah. I don't know, do you remember the, the Lady Gaga guest appearance? I don't. It's absolutely terrible. <laughs> Not surprised. It's, yeah, I don't even know where to begin. <laughs> but I mean, that's obviously also like season 20 something, so. Yeah, okay. Wow. Yeah. I was back in Ireland in the summer and there was like there was I had nothing to do so I just watched like actual TV because there was no Netflix or whatever. Mm. Yeah. Or I didn't have the wife first. For some reason I was watching TV, and um, and I was watching and there was like The Simpsons were on and I watched like it was like the new episodes or whatever. And I swear I was sitting there for twenty minutes or, and there wasn't a single funny thing. Like. Yeah. 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 I didn't know what was meant to be funny and what wasn't. You know. Yes. I've experienced that too, actually. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's that's a weird sensation to feel. Yeah, like you know, some of it is meant to be funny, but it's just it's just not clicking. Yeah, I, I've been in a movie theater where I'm laughing at shit that the rest of the audience isn't, and I I'm wondering whether my sense of humor is just very different, or like I'm actually picking up the what the director was intending to be funny. Uh, it's it's weird. Yeah, I see what you mean, yeah. It's weird. Yeah. I think that's why some shows just need a laugh track. 
<laughs> like, I, I think, like, I think Friends would be absolutely terrible if they didn't tell you when to laugh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's just awkward. And uh, I've seen a few videos on YouTube where people removed the laugh track from yeah. Friends. Um, and, yeah, it's even worse with some shows like The Big Bang Theory without a laugh track. Yeah. Yeah. That's terrible. It's, it's terrible. It's not funny at all. And Friends is kind of, Friends is kind of the same, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's not as yeah. bad. And then you have, What? Yeah, and then you have the actors, like, the, the actors are, you know, they're just pausing for a couple seconds because yeah. Yeah. Know, there's the laugh track and they can't say anything. And then if you cut out the laugh track, they're just kind of, like, looking at each other, saying nothing. <laughs> it's, like, the most awkward silence. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's weird. Seinfeld without a love track is still funny, though. I mean, yeah, yeah. it's still enjoyable. I can see that, yeah. So, uh, it's not all the... The IT crowd without a love track still really funny. Still enjoyable. Does Peep uh, Show have a love track? Oh, I don't think so. Uh, no, I don't think so, now. Yeah. Because uh, um, I find that it's fun. really funny, too. And, like, that's the kind of show where you can find, like, Tons, tons of parts of it funny that aren't like yeah. everyone in yeah. the theater would be laughing at. Yeah. Yeah. I think watching that at like the cinema would be really weird. What? I think people are very different. Uh... I think if you watch Peep Show, for example, at the cinema, it would be weird because people have, I think, quite different ideas of what, what parts of it are actually funny. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or maybe like, that would yeah, that would generate an organic love track. Yeah. Maybe because of that you would laugh more. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Uh, there'd be like a whole lot of cringing noises. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It'd just be like a cringe track. Oh, I would love a, like an audience track that had way more character to it. People going like fuck. Like no, yeah, yeah, yeah that's a great idea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe with the advance in uh, in technology, uh, you will have to when you when you watch TV, you can hear the the reactions of people who watch all around the world at the same time. I don't know. Yeah, um, I did a, a watch party for. The room with um oh yeah um, oh that's great people. and um I didn't even realize you could turn your mic on until like four other people in the room all just like started like <laughs> shouting lines while like everyone's <laughs> was like saying it and I just thought like is there something wrong with the audio file but I realized it's just everyone else I switched on my mic and started doing it too. It was, actually a lot of fun yeah yeah it's what it's like what people do with the rocky horror picture show i don't know if yeah. say if this is the same uh, in yonek of the woods but here there's one cinema that plays the rock rocky horror picture show all the time like i think it's like twice a week uh, all year long and and people go there and they uh yeah they quote lines they they do stuff uh, throwing rice and shit And people get dressed up and all that. Yep. If if everyone was just quoting the whole movie, like the audience was just speaking the lines at the same time, <laughs> I think that would drive me. Yeah, yeah. You uh, you got one one dude who gets up on stage at the beginning is like, okay, so you should know that the jump scares are at five minutes thirty seven, twelve fifty nine. It's you know, it says all the. <laughs> yeah, if the audience all just shouted at the same time as all of the jump scares, and I, I didn't know they were coming, that would be terrible. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I put, I put my mic on push to talk because uh, because of car noises and because occasionally I'm coughing. I don't oh no! Oh. You you cannot cough in your mic. What if we catch what you have? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Well, I'll you... send you a picture of the, the virus. <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. The same thing happened to me yesterday. I was yeah, I I, I was looking at my apartment, and I was like, I kind of neglected, you know, cleaning uh, recently because uh, I was busy. I had more important stuff to do, and um, I was like, if I'm going to be stuck inside this apartment all day long for two weeks or more. I might as well make it look as good as I can to make it like, you know, a, a welcoming environment where I feel really comfortable. So I started doing a, a deep cleaning of the whole house, you know, vacuuming under the furniture, brooming the floors, etc. And I, um, because of that, I moved quite a lot of dust around and I have, I had, uh, I have had allergic rhinitis since I was a kid. And so because of all the, the dust, I started like sneezing and coughing a lot and I heard like panic noises coming from the neighbor's apartments. <laughs> it was funny. It was like great. Did you see this uh, did you see that interview they did with um Liam Gallagher from Oasis? Mm. Where uh, no. he was said, um I I thought I had coronavirus, but actually my house was just too warm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, British people are so wacky. I got on. Yeah. Um, I got on the plane to come to Malaysia, and I, I was definitely like making sure um, I wasn't coughing or like freaking anyone out. But I, I sort of swallowed wrong, and just like some saliva or whatever just yes. got caught in my throat. <laughs> And I, I, I started going into this sort of choking, coughing, like, thing, and, it, and like, my eyes were watering, and I just, I was so, I was freaking out, because I, I thought everyone would be, like, turning on me. Um, <laughs> yeah. The people yeah. in front of me and behind me were wearing masks, so I think, but they didn't, like, they didn't say anything, and they didn't even give me any looks, so yeah. I'm lucky. I mean, people who wear masks are normally people who are already infected, so... Uh. Right. Well, it's it's like most useful for avoiding spreading it when you have it, yeah. 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 I think yeah. a lot of them are just silly, though. Oh, like, they just don't know that. They just yeah, I think, them, yeah. think it helps. I think a lot of people just don't know what they're doing. They're just wearing a mask, because I think, you know... I think Why looks, not? They think it looks cool. They want to be like Bane from yeah. uh, Night, Dark Knight Rises. Uh, <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah, basically, uh, if you see someone wearing a mask, it's either someone who already has been infected or someone who is like retarded and ignorant. So either way, you want to avoid them. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> This is the world we live in now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, things are never going to go back to normal. <laughs> we coughing in a society. <laughs> yeah. I sent a picture of the virus, by the way. So you guys better yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I saw that. Uh, I was looking like left and right to see if it was lost or some kind of meme like this, but it's... <laughs> Uh, that's yeah. the real virus. <laughs> do, yeah. do people feel like they're laughing at a, at a at a miscarriage anymore when they laugh at loss? Do you think? I don't know. Maybe. I mean, it's just um, a cartoon miscarriage. It's not an actual one, anyway. But um, <laughs> that's true. That's yeah. <laughs> it's not a. I, mean, I don't think people are, and I don't think anyone is laughing at, at a miscarriage. They're laughing at how ridiculous the miscarriage is being portrayed. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh, but uh, yeah, Giles, uh, it's a webcomic, not a documentary. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I don't know. But I think it was like realistic, though. I like. Yeah, yeah, it was inspired by real, uh, by the real story of uh, the comic creator, I believe. Oh. He said, uh, "Yeah, he said he said something like this." Yet yeah, people were uh, saying, uh, 
I don't remember, but he used it to defend uh, his comic. He said like, yeah, but uh, you know, it really happened to me. Uh, uh, I don't remember. There was some weird shit, and but somehow he made it work. People think he's had sex before. <laughs> that, that comic doesn't look like he would have ever had it before. Like a, a gamer who works inside a, a video game store and it's just like uh, I haven't seen many, um, many like issues of it or like pages of it, but yeah. it looks very nerd. Yeah. 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 I mean the, the the comic was was called Control Alt Dell, so yeah. I mean I say was, but I think it's still going. I think it's it's still it's still running. Updated and shit. Well, he has permanent advertising, so permanent advertising. Oh yeah, you mean the meme? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, I think he's still making like new strips all the time. I'm uh, um, I'm looking. Yeah, there's one from yesterday. Actually. Yeah. Um, There's a there's a guy who's like flirting with a robot who looks like an Xbox. Mm. Riveting. Um, uh, it's 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 not funny. <laughs> it's just yeah, that's weird. That's really not funny. You you you're getting a kick out of the uh, Garfield comics being like shuffled up by like the bot. Yeah, I was. Um... You're in a Garfield phase in general at the moment. I feel. Oh yeah, I don't remember why. I think I was looking for it. I th yeah, I do remember why. I was looking for a specific uh, comic. That I, that I remembered and I wanted to share it or to make a meme out of it um, so uh, so I started looking for that comic but I did not really remember when it was so I was like well I guess I will have to reread all Garfield starting from day one um, <laughs> and um, so which is uh, of course June 29 1978 as we all know <laughs> And, um, yeah, I don't know. I, when I was a kid, uh, Garfield was like one of my favorite comics. Same. And, uh, yeah, yeah it, was, it was relatively popular here. You could easily find the French translations of Garfield. Um, so, uh, of course, I read it in French at the time because I was too young to uh, understand foreign languages. But, um... Yeah, I, 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 it was. I, I thought it was like really funny, and so I was seeing a lot of memes around it. Of course, there's the lasagna cat, uh, which which makes these amazing videos, like the the guy with the pipe strips. You know, who explained yeah, for an hour. I think this ten minutes. I I like that video a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is also the one that's really, really long about the voicemail. Uh, this is crazy. Did you see the voicemail one? No. Oh, it's it's mind blowing. Um, but I don't remember the, exactly the premise. But basically, they set up a voicemail, uh, and people could leave a, a message, and then they put all the messages. In a in a video, but since they received a lot of messages, the video's like nine hours long, and they Ooh. it's that nah, is crazy, and it's like these people who are reenacting the stuff in a in Garfield costume. It's it's weird, but somehow still <laughs> enjoyable. And yeah, there's the robot that you mentioned, um, 
that uh, makes the random comic strips on uh, Facebook. There was, of course, Garfield minus Garfield, uh, who started mm. on, on Tumblr, I think, in 2008. Um, and there's this whole thing, this whole uh, activity is what made me want to delve into it again because uh, I, I, I wanted to be a part of it, you know. Um, so I, I've already started like noting some comics and uh, making some modifications, uh, downloading some, uh, you know, um, recutting stuff. Uh, and well, there's a lot of ups and downs in the in the comic. There's a bunch of strips that are not funny at all. Um, like half of the strips are, are really unfunny and they're just filler stuff. They're all made for the for the newspapers, of course. But there's also a few strips that are really good and really funny. And um, yeah, for all these reasons, I'm I'm still uh, reading that. I've started in uh, 1978, and I'm at 1991 at the moment. So uh, nice. Yeah. yeah. Um... Have you have you encountered any of the uh, National Fat Week ones? Um, yeah, I had some books when I was younger, and yeah, Garfield just goes on about like how he's proud of being so fat and yeah. whatever. And I always remember them not being funny at all to me. Um, not even because yeah. I don't like fat people or anything. It's just like I just I don't know. I don't think Garfield should be political. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, they, you were right. They are not funny. Uh, basically, every comic that is di directly related to food or Garfield's hunger or him like being obsessed by food and fat and all, none of them are funny. That it's uh, you know, there's the worst ones. And um, yeah, the, the the National Fat Pride Week or something like this. <laughs> yeah. uh, I think it uh, it was in the middle of the 80s. I, I read those uh, a bunch of days ago, 1985 or 1986, if I remember correctly. So if you want to check them. Uh, I, I think it was like during the spring, like April, something like this. Um, but yeah, they should be they should be easy to find. And uh, I don't know why you would want to find them because they really are not funny. But uh, yeah, that 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 was the thing. That was the thing. There are some uh, positive messages in there, though. Like for example, there's a few strips against uh, declawing, uh, which is a thing that people do to cats that is uh, mind-blowingly stupid. And uh, so yeah, there's the few strips like it, it, that is against the declawing of cats. Um, so yeah, sometimes they try to like raise awareness on some issues uh, pertaining to pets. So that's pretty good. Uh, but the whole fat thing, yeah, it's terrible. It's terrible. And uh, there's um, yeah, I I like when they break the fourth wall. They do that a lot, and sometimes yeah. sometimes they do it really well. Um, so um he like thinks at the audience because like yeah his all his speech bubbles are like thought bubbles yeah really. yeah um uh yeah and it's clear that he's like referencing the audience or like he knows that someone is uh reading his thoughts or whatever yeah 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 yeah, yeah. but um but yeah um john can uh, read his thoughts, those uh, as well. Yeah, I've noticed that at times. At times, sometimes he seems completely oblivious, but like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but there's a there's a strip that explains that John can always read Garfield's thoughts, but he chose to ignore them most of the time. Um, but, but but yeah, it's it's like yeah, it's weird. There's a, there's some inconsistencies. Uh, for example, there's a lot of strips where Garfield knows how to read, uh, 
and uh, there's a lot of strips where Garfield does not know how to read because you know he's a cat so he cannot uh, read uh, and it's not it's not an evolution like it goes back and forth there's a bunch of strips where Garfield is looking at a book or a, a sign is like I wish I knew how to read uh, and then there's also a bunch of strips when he is seen reading uh, like books or labels on food or stuff like this and it flip flops a lot it's um, it's a bit yeah but um, yeah there's but yeah there's a lot of stuff that is completely absurd and I enjoy that like for example there's one that I read recently where he's um, he's doing like a, a dance show on a fence and someone uh, you know, and it's it's at night, so you can see the moon and stars be uh, behind him. And someone throws like a, a pie at him because he's bad, but the person misses and uh, destroys the moon. <laughs> okay. Like you know, there's a lot of stuff like this that is completely, completely absurd, and uh, I love this. Do you like Garfield, uh, Mike? Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Mark. Um, I don't know. Sorry. Man, I actually, <laughs> no worries, no worries. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I've never really, like, innered read. Like, I, I, I only really, like, recently saw, like, my first Garfield comic or whatever. Uh-huh. I don't know why. Like, I just know, like, an orange cat who likes lasagna. I don't know why. <laughs> was it, like, never popular in Ireland, or... Um... I don't know if it was, or, like, maybe just, maybe my family just hates it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't know. Yeah. Uh, but it's not, it's not, like, a big cultural thing or anything. Like, you wouldn't... Okay. I don't know. It's never come up in conversation or anything, so I, it's probably not a thing in Ireland. Well, I'll, I'll see if there's an Ireland, Ireland fans of Garfield group on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we had an Iowan in the team not so long ago. Um, uh, it would have been... <clears throat> maybe, a, we, maybe we can ask her about Garfield in Iowa. Um, but... Uh, yeah, here in France, it's um, it has become kind of a symbol uh, not so long ago because uh, I think it was in the 90s there was a boat that was transporting like a huge cargo of Garfield phones. You know these 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 old landline phones, uh, and um, the boat sunk. I don't remember because it was like uh, not maintained good enough, or it hit, it hit a rock. I don't I don't remember why, but basically, there's this huge cargo of Garfield plastic phones uh, that got sank near the the coast of uh, Bretagne uh, in the west of France, and so often there's Garfield plastic phones that wash up on the shore um, of I France and so yeah. Gar and so yeah Garfield became kind of like a, a symbol of pollution um, here <laughs> especially in the western regions near the you know Atlantic Ocean that's uh, that's something huh <laughs> that just plagues yeah they're, they're like in mind when it comes to yeah pollution in the ocean wow yeah, <laughs> it's just a, one of those really weird things. Yeah. <laughs> yep. It's like if like ISIS adopted Garfield as their like logo or mascot or something for like <laughs> completely uh, different reason. <laughs> yeah, like the episode of uh, "It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia" when uh, Wolf Cola becomes the official drink of Boko Haram. <laughs> that was great that was such a great episode loved it oh yeah <laughs> this is why we had to wait for you to go to Bad Bath and Beyond yes bitch <laughs> uh, yeah yeah I, I don't know if you've seen but ISIS recently uh, 
said uh, they they gave an official statement through their website that terrorists should avoid Europe because of coronavirus. Uh. You're like, yeah, for real. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Um, <laughs> and uh, like African people thinking of um, closing the border to like Europeans and um, yep. uh, Mexico considering closing the border to to the US so they can't, uh, yeah. they can't get into Mexico. Just the, the virus is just like reversing historical tension. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, some some Italians have uh, have um, are trying to become refugees in uh, I think Sudan or somewhere somewhere in Africa. Huh. Um, because they're too scared of going back to Italy because of the virus. Oh, that's okay. That's interesting. That's what I expected. They've, they've applied for refugee status because because their visas run out and they don't want to go back to Italy. Yeah, that's funny. That's freaky. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, it's it's weird how um, coronavirus has basically spared Africa so far. There's basically zero cases in Africa, and experts are stumped. No, no one understands why. Maybe. What? Oh, uh, apparently, it survives better in like colder temperatures. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's been a lot of cases in Australia, so. Well, it's heading into winter in Australia. Well, it's, it's already. It's in spring. Um, okay. But it will be heading into winter. I thought it was still summer in Australia. No, summer ends in Feb. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but uh, but yeah, there's a lot of places that are well. There, uh, you should be aware that there's a lot of cases in uh, Malaysia, which is yeah. as as you know, very close to the equator. So yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I, I'm not sure if it's a hit thing it might it might be though but uh, I don't know I don't I think the thing with Africa is that it's not very well connected yeah like the virus yeah, is spreading yeah. so quickly in Europe because everything is interconnected and you know you don't have border checks and yep. people can move so freely that absolutely in Africa possible people is. just don't move around as much and yeah that's that's an absolute possibility greet, Italian people greet each other by like kissing each other on like the cheeks and like grabbing each other's faces and stuff yeah yeah but that's the case in many many countries in France also in Russia also uh, but yeah but um, yeah um, it's um, shaking hands is much more dangerous for transmission than uh, you know kissing each other on the cheeks um, because <laughs> because yeah we, our hands are so much dirtier and um yeah. And yeah, yeah, the droplets coming from noses are dangerous, but um, in the mouth we have the saliva, which is quite, um, you know, um, corrosive, and uh, there's a lot of uh, fucking um, immune stuff in the saliva. But uh, on our hands, the virus can stay like for days. I thought, um, I saw a thing uh, recently saying that he can live on cardboard for 24 hours um, it was an article about uh, should you uh, um, you know should you order pizza uh, and um, yeah the virus can live on cardboard for 24 hours so uh, I mean not live because viruses are not alive but you know stay um, intact so uh, mm. so on human hands it's probably days you know that's why it's so important that you uh wash your hands very well especially uh the uh, interdigital spaces that are not washed enough in general um people will like not go be between the fingers so it's really important because it tends to stay there a lot not proliferate of course because it's not alive but um you still should wash very well between your fingers because there's some stuff that can make the whole thing worse like for example 
um, Staphylococcus aureus, which is harmless in 99.9 .9 cases, but can make viruses worse by being like an opportunistic uh, infection that compounds with uh, with viruses. It can oh, cause yeah. it can cause pneumonia. Uh, there is also uh, um, Streptococcus aeruginosa, which is also pretty harmless on its own, but compounded with uh, defenses, immune defenses lowered by uh, 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 like the flu or even a common cold, or of course uh, COVID nineteen. Um, yeah, can make matters worse. So. Uh, I mean, now we're stuck inside our own houses, so we don't have to wash our hands at all. Uh, but uh, yeah, if there's any contact, it's uh, it's good. No, I think the the whole, the whole isolation stuff doesn't make sense to me, but the whole hygiene stuff is good, and it has great effects. Um, wash your hands, and sneeze in your elbow. That's that should not be just for now. That should be for the whole year around. Yeah, for sure. I mean, yeah. I mean, personally, I reckon, yeah. Go ahead. I reckon we're all gonna get it, and we're all gonna have to just uh, become immune. Yeah. So yeah. 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 Same time. Yeah. 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 The like the thing is, the thing is, like eighty eighty percent of cases are mild, but like like a mild case is still pretty shitty. Like you're still really sick. You just don't have to go to the hospital. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's gonna suck, but for a week, so yeah, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, it was it was basically the same thing that happened with polio. Um, we all heard about polio, and it's like this crazy, scary thing. And I we're so glad it that it was eradicated. But ninety nine percent of polio cases were mild, and uh, there was only point five percent of cases that uh, were really dangerous and uh, then people had to go in the iron lungs and all that shit but it was still a, a terrible um um uh, fuck what's the word epidemic um so uh yeah the the numbers can be misinterpreted uh even something that is lethal in in half a percent of cases uh, can be terrible if it's really contagious oh. uh, so uh, so yeah 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 it's uh, yeah 99 of the 99 percent of polio cases were mild uh, or even asymptomatic but uh, but yeah but that's the thing since a lot since most cases don't produce any symptoms at all uh, you can't you know if you have it or not basically unless everyone gets tested but the, of course it was comp it would make worse the hospital congestion the the medical uh, staff that is already overwhelmed and there's not even enough kits in some countries f to test people i um i saw that so um uh, they only test people who who show like um severe symptoms in many places because there's not enough testing kits oh. so yeah they only test people in a lot of places that show the symptoms and that have been in contact yeah with someone who's confirmed got a positive case but like you're like people are in contact with a bunch of people who they have no idea you know if i if i buy something at the supermarket and you know the cashier touches my hand or whatever and then the next day, the cashier is in hospital with with coronavirus. Yeah. But I don't know that. So how do I know that I've? You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Like. And that's the thing as well. Like in the U.S., the numbers are so low because they just haven't been testing at all. Yeah. Like, a couple of days ago, they tested seven people in the entire U.S. Well, yeah. On, on well, over the course of a day. Yeah, yeah. Which is crazy. Obviously, you, you know, it's like uh, it's like that Chernobyl. Uh, Series, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Three point six Rungen. Not great. Not terrible. Yeah. 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 But oh, our detectors only go up to three point six. Good. Yeah, three point six. Not a lot. That's uh, not great, but you know. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a great show, by the way. I'm going to watch it again, I, I think. It, but, uh, oh, watch it. It's everything about it is great. Uh, it's aesthetic. It's it's got the right amount of of drama. You know, it's not too. Uh, I mean, drama is uh, not the word I was um, looking for because that's a generic word. But you know, it's not too much taken like a tragedy. It's um, it's very close. To the actual facts, uh, the the science aspect is solid. Right. The history aspect is solid. The music is incredible. It's really really great, uh, oh, yeah. and uh, and it's short. It's only five episodes, so um, you you can watch it in an afternoon. Yeah, there's actually so much I can do to fill my like lockdown period. Oh yeah, I mean, um, dude. Like, there's so much I can do. I don't know what they would have done during, like, the Spanish flu or whatever. Just, like, read yeah. books. For yeah. weeks. But uh, we've got so much more we can do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's they crazy. Walk to anyone outside their room. What? The Spanish flu was, like, 1930-something, like, right? Oh uh, no! It was much closer to the First World War. I think it was right, okay. right at the end. I think it was yeah. nineteen. I think it was nineteen nineteen. Nineteen nineteen, I think. Yeah, then. Two years. If you're stuck in your like little cottage or whatever, yeah, like you couldn't really talk to anyone. Yeah. You'd be stuck there just reading a book or like writing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, quite a lot of people had phones at the time, but yeah, I, I see what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, right, yeah. But yeah, yeah, absolutely. But yeah, yeah. I mean, you're telling me I work on the internet. My, uh, I have more work now because everyone's stuck at home and spend all their time on the internet. So my my work charge has doubled, uh, and I'm not complaining. It's great. But um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's there's so much to do now uh, that uh, I mean. There's there's only one thing that um, for me a little um, not a little a lot uh, frustrating and annoying is that I cannot go to the gym I cannot go to a public park or a garden I cannot move outside of my house you know and I'm something I'm I'm someone who you know needs to move to feel good um, so uh, I I've already started doing things like running up and down the stairs of my uh, building. Or uh, like running in the in the courtyard, um, but it's and it's especially frustrating since we had shit month of January with a lot of rain and stuff like this, and February half the month was also lots of rain, wind, and the weather started become really good a few days ago there's a lot of sun outside super frustrating that i'm not able to uh to go to a, a park or just ju just you know have a walk in the streets can i go to the gym that's the that's the difficult part but uh, but yeah i am not bored i am <laughs> i am you know, just doing so much yeah um there's a guy, uh, Charles Bronson, um, the the actor, the, the famous prisoner. Do you know him? Ch the, the the guy who was an actor in in cowboy movies. No, the um, the the guy. I think they he goes by Charlie Bronson. Um, he was uh, a prisoner, like a uh, an English prisoner, who would just get into fights with all of his um. Uh, he would get into fights with all of the guards that would try and like deal with him and he was constantly moved between prisons and he spent a lot of his life in solitary confinement uh -huh. so he actually wrote a book about uh, staying in shape um, while oh. in solitary confinement so, like, Interesting. In space. so if you need to get some sort of workout fits maybe you should check that out yeah, I'm I'm reading his Wikipedia page right now. Interesting character. Um, yeah, uh, Tom Hardy plays him in a movie. It's actually quite good. Huh. Interesting. That's not even. Oh, that's not even his real name. He chose the name no. Charles Bronson in reference to the actor. Yeah. Interesting. 
Okay. Uh, yeah, fitness fanatic. Interesting. Outsider artist. Huh. Yeah. Okay, I'm uh, I'm I'm knowing that. Um, yeah, no, yeah. watch the movie. It's it's great. But if you want to know what his workout knowledge is for a confined space, or like you know. No, I mean, there's a lot of stuff I can do at home. I can do, like, push-ups and shit like this. But it's like, yeah. uh, I like to stretch my legs, you know. It's not just because of the lack of exercise. It's just, you know... Well, you see what I mean. It reminds me of that that dude who was, like, meditating in the desert. And so he didn't hear about it. He just heard about it today. Uh, Joker guy, the bad, the bad Joker guy. Uh, uh, he, he plays no, 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 not the good. No, that's the good Joker. The bad, he has a metal core bond. Uh, Jared Leto. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he f he found out about the coronavirus today because he was meditating in the desert with no internet and anything. I thought that was funny. He may, he may have caused it. <laughs> but it's like meditation yeah that's possible yeah there's a show called Big Brother yeah it's like reality TV shows where people are like yeah. locked, locked in a flat um, you know classic classic stuff and I think that's Germany actually right the German Big Brother yeah. yes in the German Big yeah, Brother they like, a, they like a special edition to tell them about the virus <laughs> Um, oh, because when I when I read about it, uh, the the people from the show were forbidden to talk to, uh, about to them about the the virus. Yeah, yeah, they were, but then at some point they decided that it was. Oh, okay. You know, they had to tell them. So they had this big, like it was like a whole TV event. Like they had a, you know, special edition Big Brother. Huh. We're going to tell them about the virus. <laughs> uh, I, w I wonder how they're going to react. Yeah. Maybe they maybe they'll get yeah, like stuck inside I, the thing for a long time. Like the yeah, I don't know. Maybe I mean it's probably pretty good uh, quarantine place. Yeah, like the crusade from yeah, hell the, thing. I think, I think that's no shit. I said crusade. I meant cruise boat. Very different. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think they had the same thing um, in the U.S. Uh, Big Brother, like. They had a special edition to inform them about 9-11. Oh, yeah. Uh, when that happened. That would make sense, yeah. Weird. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They could just mess with them. Like, they could... Yeah, uh, right. Fascinated for them to say... Like, they could follow up on the corona thing and, like, say to them, like, 80% of the population of the planet has been wiped out. <laughs> and, and whether they're like, <laughs> just well, yeah, it'd be pretty unethical. Oh yeah, but you know, ethics is the enemy of fun. <laughs> it was a scientist who said that. Is a a um a doctor from Auschwitz who said that actually. Oh really? Okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, Rick, Rick Sanchez said that. Uh, <laughs> the, the the Nazi Rick Sanchez from a parallel universe. Uh, <laughs> Have you been doing the, the pickle? Like, he turns himself into a pickle. It's the funniest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, such a great meme. Yeah, I've been enjoying it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I've seen more memes about this recently than memes about the virus. People are still making new pickle memes, and uh, most of them are really good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The intersection of the two is quite good as well, you know, like, with, uh, you know, like, all the heads of states are giving, like, televised speeches, and, you know, and then yeah. making memes out of those speeches, like, uh, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah.
Oh, he turns himself into a pickle. It's the funniest shit I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I've been trying to sincerely, like, insert it into a um, conversation. <laughs> and like I've been <laughs> yeah <laughs> good luck with that but yeah it's a great idea <laughs> yeah yeah um. nice little lull <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Do you have some special stuff in your um, in your countries? Because, for for example, uh, people have asked uh, here in France. Um, there's been uh, official, not just for from some blog or shit, but official guidelines from the government who said that people should all open their windows at 8 p.m. and clap uh, to thank the medical professionals who helped during the crisis. Wow, no. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think that's kind of like a general thing. I've seen that in a few places. Yeah. Um, and also, uh, they said that we should... Uh, every mu musician at uh, noon on Tuesdays should open their window and play their instruments. Like, it's like official yeah. shit that I've seen it's on terrible. the French government website. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen the videos of the Italian people playing from the balconies. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about it. <laughs> um, I, like, I think I've it's read. fun for like 10 minutes, and then it'll get really annoying. Yeah, probably. Yeah. If they only know like three songs and they just play it like every day, yeah. 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 Anyway, here's Wonder Wall. Accordion yeah. uh, on it, like a, on a song here and there, is pretty is all right, but if like every song is just accordion. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or the yeah. or the pan yeah. flute. <laughs> the pan flute is is worse. Like imagine imagine so, some some jackass playing Wonder Wall with the pan flute. Every yeah, that could get old really. Easy. That's why they say to do it only once a week. I think. Because yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. will go on. Oh God. <laughs> I like the shitty recorder version of it. Yes. <laughs> uh, a whole chorus of people who don't really know the song from the, or how to play the recorder yeah. just all trying that would be really funny to me yeah. for a day. Penis music. <laughs> <laughs> you made some sort of remix of that, didn't you? Uh, I did not make a remix. I made a, a whole new song that was kind of a, a, a knockoff of the original because uh, I was a little frustrated that the original was not on Spotify and it's copyrighted anyway. So I decided to make a <laughs> knockoff so people could, and I published it as a Creative Commons so people could use it. But it didn't really catch on. I think it had like uh, 2,000 views or something like this. I liked it. I liked your version. Thank it's you. Just as obnoxious and uh, a bit like catchy. I think that's the key to penis music. Okay, yeah. Just with cat. Yeah. Yeah. With a with a Kuma's face. On <laughs> it. Yeah, 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 and uh, Joker Bogdanov. No, you don't remember. Uh, there's, there's like the Kumar face at the beginning and the end of the video, but in the middle there's one of the Bogdanov brothers in Joker makeup. Oh, right. Anyway. Yeah, did you see the picture of them <laughs> having created the... Uh, oh, the I've Kumar seen... I have seen many. I Not just yeah. one. I've seen several versions of that. Yeah. Is it real? <laughs> <laughs> Is that a real question, mate? <laughs> yeah, let me rephrase that. Do you think the post is real? Not, not Bogdanov's creating COVID-19. <laughs> <laughs> what? It, it predates all, like, knowledge of COVID-19. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, so, no, little misunderstanding. I've seen memes 
and funny posts about this that implied that they made the thing. I have not seen people who actually believed that shit. No. <laughs> no, I, so one, what I saw was there was a post in November of last year uh -huh. of some page yeah. saying, the, like, it was a photo of the Bogdanovs and they were saying, really, like, uh, working on COVID-19. Huh. It was um, posted back in November. So whoever posted it was making a joke, but uh, yeah, I don't think anyone knew there was going to be a COVID-19 at that point. It wasn't even called COVID-19 be before February anyway. So uh, right. there are, so, like, yeah. Spooky. Yeah, but if that, if that was on Facebook, it's easy to edit an old post right 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 so um i don't know i don't know though uh, i don't see i don't know if you've seen the ted talk by bill gates about the risk of a global pandemic and he described pretty much uh, what happened but the video is from like four years ago uh, okay that's an interesting watch i'm gonna check that out uh, it's, it's like yeah just like bill gates ted talk it's from 2016 i think And, um, yeah, he pretty much warned uh, of exactly what's happening right now. <laughs> it's uh, it's uh, foresight. Uh, I mean, yeah. Maybe it's worth taking that video, putting some really dramatic music over the top and <laughs> some images. <laughs> Making it... Like, naming it after um, the, uh, the conspiracy... Here's a theory. The coronavirus was created by gamers. No, um, because servers would be overloaded. Yeah, but it's like it's like to convert everyone to their way of life. People are confined, social distancing. True. You know, it's very it's very much a gamer thing. People well, stay stay in their home and. Uh, order pizzas and don't yeah, do much else it's repopulating the servers for games that were maybe dwindling a bit yeah world of warcraft yeah, minecraft yeah, that's making sense yeah 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 oh did you see the guy who are the guys who are building like a library in minecraft kind of like the yeah. library of alexandria but in my, that's so great That's such a great idea because I, at first I thought it was a shit post, but basically uh, what a lot of people <laughs> realized is that you know there's a bunch of informative websites like for example Wikipedia that are banned uh, and blocked in countries like North Korea or stuff like this or China or etc. But there's one uh, everyone can go on Minecraft in every country of the world and you can you can build whatever you want in Minecraft so people are, are started making a library in Minecraft with all the knowledge of the world like I mean kind of like uh, Wikipedia or stuff like this an, an encyclopedia basically with a lot of books a lot of stuff that is banned in some areas of the world and it's in Minecraft so everyone can access it all right it's pretty cool yeah it's really cool it's like it's like 100% nerd shit but in a in a very good way how how do you read the books though I don't I don't know I'm I've... worried that they'll just be like uh, the sign just put onto walls and you have to read the whole books just like one sign at a time it's possible I think, I, those, I think those actual books in Minecraft right uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 I think yeah yeah I'm a, I'm a boomer in Minecraft years, so like... Oh, yeah, I mean, beta. same. Yeah, same, same. Yeah, beta. yeah. Yeah, I haven't... Yeah, I haven't played Minecraft in 11 years. So um, I played it at the beginning when it was, like, fresh and, the, like, the new sensation, and I haven't played it since. You know, I think 2009, and that, that that's it. So um, I, I assume there's been a lot of changes new stuff and new blocks and all that um but so i i wouldn't yeah. know how it works yeah it's gotten really I, weird 
I think there's a lot of videos and stuff like this that explain um, how it, um, how the library. I tried works. trying it again like like a couple of months ago, and like there's some really weird shit in it. Like there's like evil villagers that try and raid villages, and yeah, I don't know. Like there's and then there's their king rides on like a massive rhinoceros and shit like that. <laughs> okay. Well, it's really bizarre. There's a thing yeah, it's I like something called the Wither. What? There's something called the Wither. Wither. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Let me search this up. Maybe. The weather. Wither, like uh, W I T H E R. The Witcher. <laughs> Witcher without the C. The Wizard. Um, the weekend. Give me this, and I'll, I'll search. Yeah, yeah. No, you know what I heard about a couple of years ago that really made me interested in Minecraft, and I think that if I go back into Minecraft, that will be the first thing I do. Probably uh, the first big thing I will take part of. Of course, it's Cold Shella. Uh, it's the you know the music festival inside Minecraft. They have one every year. It's called Coachella. So it's like Coachella, but like with coal because Minecraft mining. And um, and every year they have a large uh, independent music festival because, you know, uh, people are, you know, playing music directly live, uh, streaming their audio from their computer to the game. And um, that's something that's really interesting to me. And I really want to try. Uh, maybe not being a musician, but at least being part of the audience. I think we'll, for, for the next Cold Shell, I'll, I'll try. I wanted to go uh, at Cold Shell last year, but I had too many computer problems, so I could not. But I think I will definitely try to go this year. Hell yeah. So, uh, so yeah. Wait, so it's like a server that can handle just lots and lots and lots of people? Uh, yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, I don't. Be on the next turn. I don't. Re <laughs> I don't remember the details, but you can just Google Coachella. I mean, Google or go on DuckDuckGo or Bing or Yandex, whatever you want, and you should be able to find details pretty easily. Uh, I discovered it in a great YouTube channel. It's a small channel by a Canadian guy, but it's like so good. It's uh, it's a little. It makes me a little. It makes me think a little bit of vice, you know, it's that kind of journalism, good good journalism that's really rare. And it's a small Canadian YouTube channel called This Exists. It's such a great channel, so underrated, 100% worth it. They have stopped uploading a while ago, but maybe they will start again. And uh, the videos are, are still up, so yeah. I think everyone should check out, everyone who's interested in like internet, culture, uh, stuff like this, you know, they talk about Simpson Wave, about the the Black Midis, about uh, the mukbang. That's what I the, I first heard about mukbangs, etc. It's a great channel. It's, what? It's mukbang grosses me out. Yeah, it's it's weird. Uh, uh, uh yeah. But it's it's mostly a social thing. Like I, at first I was at first I thought a mukbang was kind of like an eating contest, but then the more I heard about it, the more I realized it's not it's not it's just some kind of social gathering uh, that is not very different from esports. You know, there's the streamer and there's a bunch of people in the chat. So, in, but instead of watching them play video games, they're watching them eat shitloads of food. It's kind of yeah, it's kind of like Twitch, but in but for Chinese takeout. If if I could be paid to do that, then I guess I would do that. I mean, yeah, I mean, if you if you're a successful streamer, then you're definitely making bank. But mukbang is still kind of a very niche thing. I'm not sure. I've been kind of looking over the Coachella thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've heard it. Figure out more about that. Okay. I've kind of been I've kind of been zoning out on that. Yeah, I know. It's, um, it's fine. That's that's definitely a weird fucking festival. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, 
but seeing the pictures of it as well, like they have some, like I, I don't, I still don't understand how how it works. I mean, you know, there's like, pe there's people. It's like it's like you know, it's like using mic to talk, but instead of using a mic, yeah. it's like a, a audio interface that feeds audio, yeah. and people listen to it. I mean, I, I suppose I, I, I don't remember the details because I read about it two three years ago, yeah. but uh, yeah, it's basically a music festival in Minecraft. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, definitely. Let, we'll leave the audience off with a message of hope about the world being a place. Um, are you having a gay moment right now? Are you serious? Uh, there's no way. We, there's no way we can some we can say something candy ass like this. Um. Well. Uh, okay, we'll leave the audience knowing that it's the it's we're watching the end of the world take place I mean it's, it's still quite cliche but it's less irritating I suppose yeah. then let's leave the audience feeling like we live in a society oh I'm definitely on board for that one yeah for sure yep um, so. and wash your hands oh yeah that, yeah that's important yeah, obviously proper hygiene uh, social distancing yeah. yeah I mean except if you're stuck at home of course you don't need to wash your hands you can eat your own ass if you want that's not uh, <laughs> if, you're, if you're already confined and not having contact with any other people then who gives a shit don't don't even don't don't even shower who cares but you can have an ass mukbang Ah, smug. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, I I, I heard art smug bang, so I was like weird. Uh -huh. People eating paintings, uh, but yeah, ah, smug bang for sure. Yeah, I mean, if you eat your own ass, you're putting microbes inside your digestive tract that were already inside your digestive tract, so you're not gonna catch anything. That's for sure. But yeah. Well, yeah, I remember you talking about that. That's that's. It's interesting that you can eat your own ass and you won't get sick. It's uh, we're a donut basically. Um, that's the the, <laughs> sci the scientific term is a toroid, T O R O I D, I think. Uh, but basically, yeah, we're a tube with stuff outside, but it's just one tube. From your mouth to your asshole is just one tube, and that's the case for pretty much every complex animal. Um, they're uh, we are um, deuterostomians. That's the scientific term. Deuterostomians means that when you are a fetus or an embryo, uh, the first thing that forms is your asshole. Uh, and um, oh, yeah. there's there's a, a different kind of animals called the protostomians, uh, and um, the first thing that forms when they're an embryo or a fetus is the mouth. But uh, yeah, for most of us, uh, and uh, the what's the name? Um, what's the name of that family of animals that has fish, birds, reptiles, mammals, and insects in it? Oh yeah, the bilaterians. Uh, for most of the bilaterians, where most of us are deuterostomians, I believe, if I remember correctly. That's uh, nice. When we form, uh, the has the asshole comes first. Deuterostomia uh, in Greek means uh, mouth is second. They didn't want to, uh, you know, very PC, <laughs> very very politically correct. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. So um, I, I don't even remember. Who, oh, yeah, I remember why we were talking about this. Yeah. So um, if you are doing social confinement <laughs> and staying at home, you, you don't have to wash yourself. You don't you don't have to clean your room. Jordan Peterson's not looking. Um, but <laughs> of course, you probably should because it feels good. Uh, I, I know that. Well, watch out for the, uh, the um, 
allergenic dust in the, in the air and behind your cat. Yeah. <laughs> if you if you don't want to be treated like a leper, um, yeah. Don't sneeze. Don't cough. <laughs> They're listening to you. <laughs> And also, yeah. make sure you haven't just left the heater on, and that. Your <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, here's Wonderwall. <laughs> <laughs>